lost a home and they let it go really bad. So when I moved in, the people across the way had a couple of, owned a couple of banks, and they come over and they say, hey, what are you going to do, tear that down and build another house? And I said, no, I said, I'm going to remodel it. I said, I'm going to make an all-electronic house. And they got that like, oh, yeah, boy, have we got a guy here. Now he's nuts, you know. Come on in. This is it. This is the living room here. You can pick up a phone from anywhere in the world and dial in and make all of these things happen. So if you were out somewhere and you wanted to turn the lights on or do any of this stuff, you can do it from anywhere. But you have to punch in the code, otherwise, you, you know, everybody would be calling and my house would be going around in circles. Can I see you make the living room revolve? Sure. How does that work? Well, I can pick up the phone and dial that in. Now, the guests stay a little too long, you don't have no problem. <laughs> they get the hint. <laughs> You'll have to stand back there, though, in, in order to appreciate this one. Because, see, you can, you can go around in circles, or you can... Whoa! <laughs> That's okay. No problem. When I bought the house, it was a prefab from Sears, and this was actually a bedroom, <laughs> a very small bedroom. Yeah, and I didn't want to push the walls out, so in order to make a kitchen out of it, I made everything compact. If you have to use the toilet, you just push this button here, and it becomes a regular potty. That was probably one of the first things I did. I don't know why I did it, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. I used to do this for other people. And I'd go in and I'd do the home, and you couldn't play with the toys after you got through with it, you know? You'd leave the thing, and that was the end of it. So I thought, well, I'd do one of my own. One purpose was because I had my own toys to play with. Another was if other people wanted this type of thing done, I had a show place to, you know, show them. I also have a friend of mine who's a multimillionaire, and he built a home not too far from here, you know, like $2 million. Beautiful home, everything is just perfect. And every once in a while, he'll call me up and he'll say, Ben, he's, I got people who come over from Italy. You mind if I bring them over to show your house? <laughs> it's kind of funny that, uh, you know, it's such a huge home and everything, and he comes bringing them over here just to see this thing. I think people are fascinated by gimmicks.